cast that devil out before it will destroy you. Don't allow that devil stay around you. Jesus Christ gave us power to cast our devil. In Mark chapter 16, he said, go, cast that devil, heal the sick. And that authority is ours already. So I have the ability and the power to cast out any devil that is in your life. And I want to announce to you that every devil in your life, I cast it out from you right now. Any Satan and terrorist try to interfere with your family, with your business, with your home, I declare today, let that devil go. That devil has no power over you any longer. Because God says, Behold, I give you power to tread upon scorpions and serpents, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, never be afraid to go to the village because no devil can hurt you. Never be afraid to go wherever you want, you wish to go because the devil cannot touch you. You will go and you will come back safely. You will sleep and you wake up sound and healthy. That sickness cannot destroy you. That sickness will not take you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, bro. What you do is that if you notice any devil in your business, don't wait. Cast that devil out. If you notice any devil in your child, cast that devil out. Come and say, you devil, I cast you out right now. Do you know what the Bible says? It says, resist the devil and the devil will flee away from you. Are you ready to resist the devil? Say, you devil, I resist you. Don't touch my finance. Don't touch my business. Don't touch my home. Don't touch my baby. Don't touch my life. If you say that in faith, the devil has no option. The devil will flee. Devil cannot touch your ministry. He cannot touch your company. He cannot touch your head. He cannot touch your heart any longer. Can you shout a believing amen? Now, there was a case. There, there was this time, Philip. Philip was one of the disciples of Jesus. He wasn't, you know, one of the most popular one. But the Bible makes us to understand in Acts chapter 8, the, that in from verse 5, the Bible, that he went to Samaria and preached Christ out there. And when he went there, great things started happening. Even unclean spirits were crying with a loud voice. And were coming out of many that were possessed with them. And many taken with sickness and disease with palsy. And the lame were healed. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to announce to you. Which unclean spirit has been terrorizing your dreams? Which unclean spirit has been terrorizing your body? I cast it out. I want you to shout and say I cast it out. I can't hear you. Say it louder. Do you know what happened? Once you say, I cast you out, the devil has no option. It will go. It can't stay in your body any longer. Say, you devil, you can't stay in my body. You can't stay in my family. You can't stay in my home. Hallelujah. You will never be broke again. You will never run out of finance any longer. That was what Philip did in that Acts chapter 8. He was busy casting out devil on clean spirit from people. And they were going out. And there came a time when the whole city was filled with joy. In verse 8, people were rejoicing in that place. And in verse 9 of that Acts chapter 8, the Bible says there were a certain man called Simon. Which, be, which the city using sorcery and bewitched them of the people of Samaria, giving out himself that he was a great man to whom they all gave heed from the least to the great, saying, this man is a great man of God. But you know what I'm... And to him they had regard because that of a long time 
he had bewitched them with sorcery. Oh, who is that person who is posting it to you that he's a great man in the family? Great man in your company. He is terrorizing you by bewitching you with, with pen, with, with his skill, with his word, blackmailing you, spoiling you, tarnishing your image, trying to destroy your reputation and your legacy. Who is that person who is using some black powers and spiritual means to put you into a of suffering? Do you know what happened? When Philip discovered there was this great man, a terrorist in that community, using witchcraft, using babalawo, sham, hypnotism, and all kinds of spiritual sorcery, black magic, against the city. Philip was angry. The disciples was angry. He came over and he was addressing them. He said, enough is enough. Come on, say enough is enough. Say enough is enough. Such evil devil, I say, he said, no. Do you know the man got repented? The man got changed. Life changed for him. But I'm glad to announce to you, such people who are around your community, posing that they are the mighty one in your family, posing that you cannot succeed as, you know, over them. You cannot pass over them. They are using their bewitchment to oppress you. God will fight your battle for you. Victory is sure to you. Today you will overcome their traits. You overcome their words. Because today every curse on your life is broken. And the terror of the wicked shall come to naught in Jesus name. Come and say today I am delivered from the bewitchment of Simon the sorcerer. Say louder, say today I'm delivered from the sorcerer which is showing himself mighty in my family, in my place of work, in my home, in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout a believing amen. And that sorcerer is coming to an end right now. That bewitching power is broken right now. Over your life, over your ministry, over your family, over your company, children. That bewitching power is broken. Come on, I want you to lift up your hand and say, it's broken. Say it again, it's broken. If it's from the village, it's broken. If it's from the city, it's broken. If it's from your company, it's broken. If it's your office, it's broken. If it's from your house, it's broken. It's broken. Who told you you will not succeed? Who told you you will not marry? Who told you you will not have a child? Who told you you will not own a car? Who told you you will not be a landlord or a landlady? Who told you you cannot go overseas? Who told you your ministry will not succeed? Who told you your business? Who told you you cannot have money? The person is a liar. Is a Simon the sorcerer. Today, I declare that devil, I cast it out from you. I say, I cast that devil out from you. I cast that devil out from you. That spirit of jealousy, I cast it out. That spirit of jealousy, I cast it out. All those who are envious of your success. All those who are envious because you own a car. All those who are envious because you, you are married. All those who are envious of your success. That spirit of sorcery. That evil spirit. I cast it out. If you believe that, shout a believing amen. Lift up your hands and say, oh Lord. From today, I cast that devil out. Say it again, I cast that devil out. You, Simon the sorcerer, go out. Get away from my life. In Jesus' name.